became what it is until it went through a certain spiritual process. Some of you are in the hands of God. You are in his hand and he's taking you through a process. And many people are mocking and they are insulting God. They say, I've been serving God. What has God done for me? You don't know you are in a process. You don't know you are going through a training. It is because God wanted to emerge on earth as a protocol and as a dispenser to become an emblem to, to transmit and to, to articulate a certain dimension of his kingdom on earth. Some of you, God will raise you within the next few years. God will be raising generous. You don't understand what I'm talking about. I carry, you don't understand what I'm telling you. I am, I am impregnated with a strange mandate for my generation. You cannot be under this atmosphere and your life is not impregnated. Korea Palace. We have come to experience a grace and a dimension that is beyond the reach of, of human vessels. You must be spiritual in order to access certain dimension of God's grace. your head, you may not understand what I'm saying. But if you open and sharpen your heart, you channel your heart onto this altar, then your heart will become a pipeline through which God shall transmit this word into your heart. The head does not carry the capacity and the, the required the required uh, 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 the requirement to accommodate spiritual information. When thou passes through the water, ah, just imagine you are with Jesus, and He has promised you that as long as you are in me and I am in you and with you, no danger will come. The danger came, the storm came. Jesus said to Peter, He said, Come walking on the sea. Peter started walking and began to sink in the presence of Jesus. It is part of the process. Have you not heard? What can keep a man only makes him stronger. Yes, it is part of the process. That sickness that will not kill you, sir, is part of the process. It is building your spiritual metabolism. Yes, it is causing to become a great man. You wrote an exam, you failed, but you didn't die. It's part of the process. My father, the Lord, keeps telling me sometimes. He said, failure is never failure. He said, failure is just an experience or experiment for a greater success. I'll never forget that. He told me that in the year 2010. Failure is never failure. So as born again, you don't see evil as evil. Learn to see a good in every negative challenge that, that spring forth your way. Why? Because we have been planted in Christ. When thou goest to the water, and they scream that the work of Jesus, they say, can't you see that we are perishing? And he said, yeah, people of little faith. Ah, ah. Which means that in the midst of the storm, you are not permitted to die. He was sleeping and he knew that something like that is happening. But Jesus was conscious of the presence of God. When you are a divine carrier of God's kingdom, virtue and dimension, you are afraid of nothing. You are afraid of nothing. I think a few days ago again, and uh, some people called me. I don't know where they got my number from. Begin to threaten me, and they send me message on WhatsApp, and they send they, they, they said, uh, if you try, we will cut you, block the flow. I got angry and blocked the, the idiot. They send me part of human body they have cut, sliced into soya. I said, little scammers, you met the wrong person. Listen to me. Then, oh my God. Then I was say, trust the process. Say, trust the process. Jesus was with them, but yet the storm came, but it could not kill them. So the sickness that didn't kill you will make you stronger. Amen. When people betray you, it is working for your good because it makes you to become wiser. Amen. What does not kill you can only make you to become who you need to be. In the future, God will be committing great businesses into your hands. So He must permit people to disappoint you so you will not develop trust for any kind of a person. So you shall become wiser to handle a bigger dimension of business on your way. When somebody disappointed you, you have trust for the person. They betray you. It's not a time to cry. It's a time to become wiser. Trust in the process. Trust in the process. Sister Glory, 
the Bible says, all things working together for good to them that not called, to them who are called according to his purpose. It's a process. You will never escape it. Let, can we continue reading a little bit? Please, let's push forward. Isaiah, let's get back to Isaiah chapter 43. For the same, he said, when thou passes through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, thou shalt not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be born. Which means that in the journey of life, you are permitted to go through fire. You are permitted. The challenges you are going through, it is a fire. It has come to refine you. It has come to, to fix you. Listen to me. In your destiny, if you don't have a scar, demons will not honor your word. You must develop a scar. Some of you, you are looking as if you can never become finer than what you are now. It is because you are going through the fire. For iron to become what it is, you must go through the fire. Gold is never complete unless it is being processed and channeled through fire. So fire needs to burn the gold in order to have its golden texture. So gold can only become beautiful unless it has been melted. It must pass through a process. Every man that must accomplish his or her destiny or arrive destiny on time must be ready to go through the process. It is part of the process. Challenges is part of the process. God has gone through the fire. He said, when you go through the fire, I will be there. I will be there. It did not say, maybe if you go through, which means you cannot escape it. It is a necessity for your upbringing. Many people have escaped the fire. Many people have missed it. Many people have run away from the challenges. No. You are running away from your testimony. It is challenges that makes men to testify. I get what I'm saying. Go through it. You sat at home for a week. You've not had a franc in your hand. You've not had food on your table. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. To become who you need to become, you must pass through all those and so those. Do not kill the things that God has said to make you to become who you need to be. When Satan came for Job, it was part of the process. It was part of the process. Satan thought he was doing harm to Job, but he never knew that he just gave Job a passport and a visa in his next level. Job never escaped. He went through the fire and he came out and became the richest man in the East. Because the Bible says, 
says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 from verse, from verse 2, he said, and behold, and darkness shall cover the earth. And then when darkness covered the earth, he said, and cross darkness the people. He said, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen. It therefore means in the midst of darkness, there is a possibility that the glory of the Lord is visible. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah, he said, arise and shine for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. It therefore means even in the midst of that darkness, there is a possibility a man can rise and emerge on the cosmos as a protocol to disperse the anointing of God. Am I talking to somebody? It doesn't matter where you find yourself. There is a second chance to arise. You have been sitting on that mountain for so long. If you take a concrete decision, you can break out of poverty. Am I talking to somebody? It is part of the process. If it cannot kill you, then it will make you stronger. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yes, sir. The egg patiently went through the process. It was an egg. Some of you are still in the egg stage. But you want to cross the pupa and the lava stage to become a butterfly. Yes. You are trying to become a butterfly without even becoming an egg. Some people have not finished from the level of being an egg. The egg just came out from its mother's niche. It's not yet managed. It's not yet strong enough to even become a you are trying to, 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 to cross the process. If you don't have a passport, you know it's America. It's a process. If you don't have visa, you know it's America. It's a process. Take time to go through the process. Take time to go through it. Go through it. If a plane can go through the process, and today everybody admires plane, it is because it has gone through the process. There are many of you, you are running away from the process. You are running away from your training. We have entered all kinds of wilderness experience. The reason we go through what we are going through is that the reality and the government that God has encapsulated in our heart shall be made manifest. Because the real grace of God cannot be revealed. There are some things you went through in your life. Listen to me, you was part of the process. What has become a reality in your life today? It is you need to thank God for the process. Some of you, you will thank God for the challenges you are going through after you have crossed that level. In the kingdom of God, there is no double promotion. You must go through the process. All the process you must go through them. Some people are trying to double cross others. When we talk about overtaking, overtake does not mean you skip primary one to enter primary five. Sir, in the kingdom of God, you go through all the classes. If you fail an exam, you will repeat it. If you fail a course in the realm of the spirit, you will repeat it. The reason why some of you, God hasn't answered your prayer is because He has seen you that you are not yet qualified for that next level. Until you have graduated, what you are asking becomes an impossibility. It becomes a disadvantage. Ah. We are so much in a hurry. We don't want to go through the process. It is called trusting the processing with time. Because it takes time to go through the process. It takes time. There are people you start to build them spiritually, to build their spiritual metabolism, so that God can incubate a certain magnitude and dimension of His grace in their life. But they will escape. They don't want to go through the process successfully. Before you want to see, they are carrying big titles. Big titles because they are afraid to go through the process. Listen to me. Going through the process is not easy. At times you may go without food. You may not see food. Nothing may be available. But sir, it's part of the process. It's part of the process. It's part of it. If you lack what to eat, sir, don't kill yourself. It's part of the process. Until you know that this thing is part of the process, you can never experience the glory of God in the next dimension. He said, when you pass through the fire, when Jesus walked up, he said, Oh, ye yeah, people of little faith. Jesus permitted them. Guess how competent they are. Some of you are going through what you are going through. It is a test. It is a test to see how effective or competent you are in the faith. a man that prepares him for a glorious destiny. Process is the wilderness journey of a man that prepares him for a glorious destiny.
so for the destiny of a man to become glorious, he must be refined as a gold. There is a the gold has an industry. They call it um, they call it gold mine industry. A gold mine. So for you to enter into the next phase of your destiny, you must be prepared to go through the process as a gold. Because when a man press it into God and go through the process, he comes back victorious. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. He comes back victorious. Process is part of the infrastructure that forms the embodiment of a man as regarding his ordination. Process is part of the infrastructures that forms the embodiment of a man as regarding his ordination. So there are certain infrastructures, there are certain spiritual and, uh, and metabolism that forms you. It helps to prepare you as regarding your ordination. Listen to me. We have different destiny. Don't try to engage into another man's process. Your process may not be the same as my process. You know why? We have different destination. We have different destiny. The fact that we left our journey at the same time, it's not an advantage that we all we arrive at the same time. A man who left Babusan to Bamenda, we arrived before me that leave Babusan to Yahunde. Am I correct? We have but for the fact that you arrive before me does not mean so great. Your destiny is greater than mine. Or that I will not arrive. Do you know a man who begins a journey from here to Uchan? And he that began from here to, to Yaoundé, there is still a possibility that the man going to Yaoundé may enter his destiny before the man going to Uchan. His destiny and the framework and, and the signature of his destiny it is short, but yet he spent a lot of time on the way. When you keep skipping the process, what happens is that your destiny is being delayed by yourself. So you discover that the, the acceleration of your destiny becomes so slow. So he that is going to Yaoundé has a long journey they arrive before you. Why? Because he is conscious and he goes through the process. Let's take for example, when if you are traveling by, by, by town, because of the police at that junction, you decided to pass a shortcut that is longer than the right road. So you are trying to take shortcut to escape the military men. So what happens is that something begins to delay you. Remember on the highway there is what we call speed brakes. Frenchman call it go down. Is that so? <laughs> there are what? Speed brakes. There are some things that God has permitted them to stand on your way. Or oh, sorry, the devil has permitted them to stand on your way to delay your destination. But listen to me, he think that he's doing your harm. Ah, every setback is a comeback or let me put it this way every setup every setback is a setup for a comeback every setup is a, is a setback for a comeback so the devil put a setback a speed break to limit to they listen to me he set it up but it's a setback for you to come back to God you get what I'm saying it's part of the process we may begin on at the same time, at the same rate, at the same frequency, that somebody is permitted to arise, arrive before another person. Somebody is permitted to arrive, to arrive before another person. I get what I'm saying. Does not mean yours will not explore. Maybe when your own started, start what that person makes within a month is what you will make within a day. Trust the process. Listen, and this, this process can only work for you if you are in Christ. If you are an unbeliever, you are just wasting your time. A man's life begins on earth when it does not have a challenge yet. So to the day you surrender and to come to Jesus, that's the time that your journey on earth begins. So if you are in Christ and you've not started going through persecution, that is why you are serving Christ and people have not started persecuting you. It's a sign you've not started serving God. You have not started. Until people start accusing you and said, What is it we church every day? That is when you know that you have started. If people have not started calling you names because in the name of church you have not started any persecution, it's part of the process. Before Nelson Mandela became president, he went to prison. Listen to me, it was part of the process. But the problem is that some ignorance think that everybody is Nelson Mandela. You can never become Nelson Mandela. 
his destiny shows he was supposed to go to president before becoming a president. If Nelson Mandela was preach, he would have been calling lawyers to come and build him. But he understood the embodiment and the echoes and the systems and dynamic of his destiny. So he never looked for lawyer to judge his case. He knows he saw it. The reason why many of you gave up in the process is because you have not seen the future. That is why you must develop spiritual sight. If you are a blind Christian, you will give up to Satan. But if you are sick tomorrow, no matter what happened today, you will stand. Why? Because you have pictured the future. Nelson Mandela remained in prison for years because he saw what he would become. Returning back from prison, he saw it ahead of time. And there are some people around. They gave them an opportunity to leave prison and they said no. You cannot be Nelson Mandela. You cannot be Joseph. Joseph never escaped the process. Going to prison was part of his process, part of the infrastructure that will make him to become a prime minister. It was his destiny. Everybody must not go the true prison. Everybody must not take the dark road. No, sir. No, sir. When it comes to the journey of the Israelite, they had to pass through the wilderness. They passed, they met all kinds of wild creatures and beasts in the wilderness. You will keep yourself in prison. They will sentence you to die in prison. Because you want to become what? You cannot be Nelson Mandela. Follow your destiny. Every man has his or her own process. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. I am telling you, do not allow anybody to deceive you. Go through your own process. Prison may be part of it. It may be part of the process. Joseph was not looking for a lawyer when he entered prison. All what he was looking for was divine intervention because he saw the future. It was a dream that Joseph had that kept him stable in prison. If you don't have a dream, you will go through a process and become nothing. At the end of the day, you will even give up in your Christian life. There are many people that have been coming to church here for two years. The little challenge they gave up. They need to understand that the challenge is part of the process. It's part of it. Joseph never stopped serving God because he was cast into prison. It's part of the process. Because people are talking about you or talking about the church does not mean you should not go there. It's part of the process. What people say is part of the process. Go through it successfully. A time is coming. Tell them, say, give me some time. Say, give me some time. Thank you, Jesus. You must learn to go through it. You must learn to go through it. Follow your own process. So process is part of the infrastructures that form the embodiment of a man as a regarding his ordination. If you deny the process, you miss the influence. If you deny the process, you miss the impact. You don't run away from the process, you pursue the process. Because the process is a spiritual orchestration that has been, that has been raised by God for any man who needs to become something to engage. I get what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. When you see a man who has gone through process, you will know they, they are heavy when it has to do with content. They are heavy in content. Those are men with horns in the spirit. If you check their life in the spirit, they have spiritual horns. They have audacity in the spirit. They have pain in the spirit like that. Those are men that have gone through the process. When you go through the process, you will see a spiritual scar. People that are proud, those are signatures that they've not gone through the process. Because that one of the particulars or the signatures that you need to go through the process to get it is to humble you. You cannot go through a process and you become a proud man. Any proud man that went through the process is a sign that he was faking it. He never went through the process. So God will permit you to go through the wilderness in order to bring you under a strange government. In order to bring you under his governance so he can be able to rule you, not to rule God. Proud people rule God. God don't rule them. I get what I'm saying. Oh, yes. That is why we need to cash that is under their influence. They want to walk on everybody's head. It's a sign they've not gone through the right process. Any man that achieved wealth and become very proud is a sign that you never took the right process. It is in that you began, you began with the right process, then along the way, since you could not see the future, you took a shortcut. You migrated. 
yes, you migrated. You say, God, I'm part of the journey. The journey is so long. It's taking a lot of time. Oh, God, I thought this thing would take just three years, but it's like it's, it's taking long. But the Bible gave us hope in the book of Habakkuk. That is why when you don't know the scripture, then there is no, there is no fuel that can power your engine. The Bible says, even though the vision may tarry, even though it may delay, you say, wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, wait for it. He said, I have been waiting on the Lord for so long. Let me just take this short off. He said, I've been writing this GC examination for years now. Let me just branch. So you look for money, go and buy advanced level. Five papers, all is. So you now use the shortcut to achieve that, to achieve your demands, to achieve your selfish purpose. So men that has gone through the process, they have wants in the spirit. Those men that develop scars, some of you are fair. You have challenges until your knee become black. Situation will not respond to you. You must learn to put your knees on the ground when the situations begin to respond. Many of you are speaking to yourself and saying that I have been in God, but you've not prayed enough. You have not pressed deeper into God in order to find the handwriting of God on the walls for your destiny. There is something that God has to see for every given challenge, for every given situation. But a man must learn how to press into God so that his destiny can be better and be revealed from the kingdom of God. Men with the scars of, of process are baptized with special honor. Men with scars, the scars you obtain from the process, you are baptized with the special anointing of honor. That is why two people can stand before a demon process person. Another man will say, out, and the demon will be looking like that. And another man comes and says, get out, and the demon will leave. You know why? One of them has obtained a scar in the spirit. So a spiritual galon has been put upon that person. A spiritual galon. The man is carrying a strange ambience. He's carrying a strange atmosphere. So when he leaves his prayer chambers, he comes with a strange, with a strange dimension. I don't want to take your time. Trusting the process. You cannot give yourself to the process and your scars are not visible. There is no way. Those scars need to become visible. Because those scars will come to be the testimony of your life. They will come to be the reason why you will testify. Many of you will testify, no one will believe because there was no scar. When we talk about scars, scars are the diploma you got in the process. Scars are the diploma and the certificate. Down your volume. There is something you stand to get through the process. Many of us are escaping the process now. You don't want to go through it. You don't want to go through it. People are engaged in doing all kinds of funny things simply because they want to arrive destiny quick. May God have mercy on our generation. I say, May God have mercy on our generation. Amen. Every human happening on earth is a divine arrangement or orchestration for a human advantage. Any human arrangement or anything that happens, every human disadvantage. So, if there is a disadvantage, it's a ladder for an advantage. Each time a negative challenge comes, you know that a ladder has been dropped before your presence to ascend into the next level. Each time there is a big standing before you, it means God is giving you capacity to jump the next level. So when you cross over a bit, when you jump over a bit, you are entered into the next level. So when a man develops capacity to graduate from a present predicament and to enter into the next level, what happens is that he has he has already won a battle. He has already entered the next phase of his destiny. Every phase has its own challenge. Sir, don't think when you become a millionaire, all your problems will be solved. It's a lie. As a matter of fact, when you become a millionaire, that's where your problems start. And you get what I'm saying? Because money comes with its own challenges and responsibility. There is no way you will depart from this earth running away from challenges. 
Even when you become a billionaire, it will increase. If you don't want challenge, it's better to remain poor than asking God to give you millions because your headache will increase. Yeah. You have only three children, you are about to kill yourself. And you are asking God for millions. The whole family will gather. The whole family will become your responsibility. I am telling you, you will buy one car, the whole family will not hear that. Whether you are broke or you are rich or nothing, everybody will gather your compound. Everyone would like to borrow money from you. Some of you, since your matrix came out, every family member want to use your account and your matrix to loan money. Every family member. So the, the loan and the burden of the family is on your head. So before God carry you to that next level, you must build to you. You must build your capacity. You must go through the process such that the next level will not kill you. Listen to me. If you are not prepared for the next level, it will kill you. Many people became millionaires and they died because of foolishness and because some of them were not prepared You will be having problem with 10 million. Somebody will become, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You become a billionaire, you will be solving problem with 1 billion. Somebody will be calling me that, that my money, you are owing me 2 billion. 2 billion. You will cash me back. Eh? You are afraid of a debt of 20,000. Is it the one of 20 million you will handle? Is it the one of 20 million you will handle? My friend, go through the process. Don't skip it. It's for your own making. It's for your own good. Why try to run? Why? Then they will say, why try to run? Why running away from the process? If this our generation, our young girls now, since it's like getting a husband is difficult, they are choosing to be looking for children. You see a young lady will write on her status, she's not married. You say, oh God, give me a child. I say, eh? How? How? So they, they don't want to even marry the girl. One lady proper opened her mouth and told me from Limbe. She said she don't still want to get married, but she wants to just have her children outside. So they don't want to go through the right process. But they want the fruit. Some people don't want to serve God, but they want the giftings of God. You don't want to serve the giver, but you want the giftings of the giver. You don't want to serve God, but you want God to promote you. When I got to Bikoko and I took it, I bought the bus to transport me to Limbe. And when I got there, I got offended. I saw one man, I think he's going back to Limbe too. And he was making one discussion one with one mother as well of his age. He's a grandfather of his age. He was saying that hey, he came to Babusan to see one of his sisters that the, the Bamiya has, has locked her destiny, locked all the children's destiny, and she's sick at the point of death. See, they go find out one Mary's man. The Mary's man in Bamiya don't tie them, lock them. And so I did fix. I said, I can just twist this man now. I said, no, that is a father. I will, I will praise for this boss. He said, no, so go find out. That Mary's man don't have some plenty money, so he go now to go find money. To come back to Babusan to bring that Mary's I said, I sit in with one bottle of anointing I go handle. He's going out to look for about 500 thousand to come and give me the doctor in Babusa. If that same man come here, they ask him to buy 20 chairs for this church. He will go out and say, Full prophet, full ecclesia. He has the full marabu. Do the marabu, it's only four. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See, the Mexican don't ask plenty money for losing their destiny. Yeah, he's losing and dying back. If I thought he, he didn't say the truth, they may be accusing innocent Bamiya simply because they have been having accusation. Sir, some of the things you go through is part of the process. It's part of the process. I don't have much time to teach us some, some few things. But you need to understand that being in Christ. It's not, it doesn't mean that Satan will come for you. He will come. But one thing is sure is that it does not have a permission to eliminate your life. And that was why before Satan came to Job, Satan went to obtain permission from God. Some of the challenges that you are going through, Satan went to God to obtain permission before came to persecute you. Now the Bible says in the book of I think Job chapter 6, it said there was a day of 
or, or chapter 1, he said there was a day when the sons of the Lord came to present themselves before God and Satan came amongst them. There was a day. So the children of God, they came into the church and Satan came. We are like this and the, the spirit of God is here. Satan was not afraid. He came from fellowship. So as far as we were praising, dancing, he too was dancing. And then when God looked at him, he said, ah, Satan, what are you doing here? He said, I am coming from walking to and fro, looking for whom to devour. Satan is entering families, looking for whom to destroy. Going to schools and streets, looking for whom to destroy. And then, it, it is now God, he began to boast with Job. Some of you, the problem you enter into is because God wanted to boast with you. It's not like I can turn and say, I am proud of this, my son. And then, Satan said, okay, let us test his competence to you. And then now, Satan just cause, just cause him to be around somewhere. And then maybe that church at Alona just grew. And then Satan began to put it in his mind. That called it Bible Faith Fire Church. That is how Satan will be tempted. Eh? I say, to test his competence because I have boast of him. So now, it's God that began to ask it and he said, Have thou considered my servant Job that there is no like him upon the earth, on the earth? God said there was no man that was worthy to be compared to the faithfulness and the effective service of Job on the planet earth. And then Job said, Ah, forget. Is it not because you have given him money? You have raised a huge barrier before him. You have blessed him and given him wife and children. How will Job not serve you? And then, Satan said, just touch only Job any of his property and see how he will destroy. He, he will stop serving him. And what happened is, the Lord gave Satan a go ahead. He said, you can touch. He gave him the audacity. He said, you can touch his family, his children, everything, but don't lay hand on his life. Satan went ahead. In one day, Job lost everything he had. They could call, they called him that all his cattle has caught in fire. In the bush, every one of them, when they told him, only one reply, my redeemer lived. Some of you does not have capacity to reply like that. You are in church now, they call you that your house has collapsed. You will not come to church again. You will say, My uncle is dead, and you will throw your Bible here before reaching the house. But Job didn't do that. Job had nine sons, all of them died within a day. A, a building collapsed and killed all of his sons. Killed his children, a building collapsed. Job became helpless, no child. No child around his life to comfort and to give his tears. How many of you can still say, My redeemer and leave it? After losing everything you have worked for. Some of you took about 15 years to gather money to build that house. And you are in church, they just call you and say, Ah, your house don't follow. You will cost God. You will cost God. Let me let me continue. So what happened is that Job house collapsed, everything was being destroyed. And then now uh, he stayed continued, he stood his ground. Until now, the Lord said to Satan, Have you seen? He said, Ah, God, forget. Touch his health. Touch his health and see if he will not deny you. And God still gave Satan permission. He said, You can touch his health, but don't take his life. Some of you, they challenge your heart. The sickness you had, it was a permission God gave Satan to tempt you and to see how effective you can be in church. Some of you, your, your business collapsed. It was a test that came to test your competency. It was a platform, an opportunity to enter into the next phase of your destiny, but you missed it. Once it happens like that, you stop coming to church, you stop praying, you stop fasting, you are now visiting herbalists. And Satan came with leprosy and touch Job. Job suffered to a magnitude, even his own wife decided to become a voluntary widow. Came to Job and said, Cause God and die. You love to become a widow. It means the woman is already planning to be married. And he said, Master, God abuse God and die. Some of you are here like this. Your wife is talking in her mind. I've been talking since. Let him better die. Let me marry a better man. There are women that are capable of doing that. He said, cause God and die. I know what Job said. He said, get behind me, Satan. For I know my Redeemer did it. For I 
know after when he was dying with leprosy even the seven sons of Job came to me trying to convince him that let's go and visit her palace let's go and see the doctor and he said for any more my redeemer leave it many of you many of your friends have tried to deceive you from serving God they have tried to break you out of the church but listen to me you need to stand your ground and the Bible said after some seasons came there was a wind that blew and the voice of God came in that way and when the Lord spoke on to Jacob spoke on to Job that was how all his predicted coming the leprosy disappeared what Job loses God multiplied it times three and the Bible says after that season Job became the richest man in the east why because he persevered and he went through the process he went through the fire the fire burnt his flesh but he could not kill him that challenge that is touching your flesh he cannot kill you it is it, it is an arrangement for a better tomorrow am i talking to somebody oh, yes. when you have this understanding then you will understand then you are going to know that every disadvantage is an opportunity for you to rise yes. every sickness is an opportunity for you to go further am i talking to somebody oh, yes. when you fail an exam make sure next time when you are passing it you pass it with better grades than before am i talking to somebody oh, yes. In your next world, learn these things and leave. Learn these things and leave. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Don't run away from the process. Don't run away. You have a quarrel. And you are the first thing as a woman. You pack all your things yourself. You say, I'm going. Bye bye. Go. You are running away from the process. There are some things that will build you to become who you need to be. Some of you people, you are you are independent, you are learning. When your patron knock your head or slap you, you get angry that you don't go to that workshop again. Slapping in the workshop is part of the process. You are a student, you are going to school, are they beating you and you, you are banned school? Eh? But if it's in church, they ask you, the discipline to drag you, you say, I won't go to that church again. Why didn't you go to school? Because they beat you. You are learning the workshop, the discipline, you say you will not go there again. You will not go there. It is internal pride. When you behave like that, it's a sign you cannot learn. You cannot learn. Life, if you don't humble yourself, Satan will mesmerize your destiny. He, he, he will chaka chaka you. May I talk some more about English? <laughs> Satan will do what? He will chaka chaka you. Let me run up with this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you have this kind of knowledge, then you will know that obstacles are not a disadvantage, but a divine ladder for the next level. When you have this understanding, you will know obstacles are not a disadvantage, but it's only a ladder for the next level. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Listen to me. If your landlord is discovering too much, it's an advantage. It's part of the process. It is building your capacity. You become angry and equal to become a landlord. It is part of the process. When I was in my former place, the woman disturbed like, like rat. She comes to accident when I'm still praying by 5.30 in the morning. And she'll be knocking the door until you pray. Je vais l'argent. I got angry and the money I was paying was even small. I, I got angry. It was part of the process. I got angry until when I finally left the house, I was paying the other one without stress. Without stress. It's part of the process. When your landlord or landlady embarrassed and insults you because maybe you never paid the rent on time, or maybe because you are owing three months' rent, don't kill yourself. It's part of the process. It is a training, it is a series you are going through. And when you graduate from that dimension, if your landlord or landlady will not recognize you again, a time come you become a landlord. Before I left my former house, I told my landlady, I said, Woman, you are raising children also. You will see. Don't worry. Your children are growing. It's a seed you are, you are raising. You are sowing a seed for them. I said, Do you think it's only you that can help your children? You can have one of your child who will run and come to me for help and assist them. I said, When you are a landlord or a landlady, be a very good person to your tenants. Treat them well. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. That place you are a landlord. One day, 
that your parents you have maltreated. This or her son may grow up to become wealthy to even buy the whole of that part. You don't know what is happening in this system. You don't know what will happen. He may become the next governor of that state. And they can decide to point that let that house be brought down. Nothing will change it. Nothing will change. The place you are renting for your business, the tenant you are maltreating may grow prosperous to buy the whole of that building. To become the next custodian of a certain movement on earth. Maybe one of your child will go and look for a job. And before your child enters into that office, you will realize that he's the son of that tenant he was maltreating. That is the manager of that department. That is where you will know that to have a job is difficult. They will just be doing like that. Security. Bond bon this man and throw him, throw him around the, the Sakam bridge. <laughs> Stand to your feet. Men, men with unusual, unique understanding always sees obstacles as an advantage. level of understanding become a physical and a spiritual possibility and rea reality in your life in the name of Jesus I have told myself I can't run away from every obstacle God any challenge that you can use to build me to become a better person let it keep coming let it keep coming I pray for more your mother does not mean that you should not dress well. You should not appear well. It's still part of the process. You must go through it. You must go through it. And I want to advise every woman here if your husband doesn't have money to give you at least 5,000 to put to the thing so you can put all kinds of meat in the soup. Listen to me. It's part of the process. When you understand that life is a process, you will know that you cannot have everything you need now. All your needs cannot be given today. As a matter of fact, God does not give you what you want, He gives you what you need. The Bible says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So He does not give you what you want, He gives you what you need. If you are asking God for an iPhone, He sees He doesn't have a shoe, His shoe He will give you. Yes. Yeah. gives you what you need. You are asking God money to buy maybe a kind of hairstyle you've seen on somebody else. So you are gathering money, you're asking God for money. Meanwhile, God is looking that you, there are more things that you need than that. God is instead calling you to fasting and prayer because your spiritual life is under attack. Some of you have been sleeping throughout the night and you are not asking God to restore your, your prayer lifestyle. Your atmosphere has been intoxicated by satanic aggressiveness. So you don't ask God for divine restoration and to refire and to rewire your spiritual life. You are asking God for money. You are asking God for a new shoe. You are asking God for a new hairstyle. My friend, you must be joking. I have put on one shoe. One time I was going to school as a student. I wear shoe. Listen. Oh my God. My story is very sad. The shoe got bust. You know, physically, I was always a clean student. I polish it is always neat. But you need to check the under. The under here, yeah, it has burst. So when rain is falling, when I'm going to school, water rain enter my leg. So when I go, when I'm walking, this I'm walking. I don't walk. I walk like a robot, like this. Because if I'm walking like you see the, the my under feet, so this is how I walk, a robot. So I was used to walking fast. My my friends didn't understand, but I was always walking like a robot. Because I didn't want people to see under my feet, but it was part of the process. It was part of the process. I used that shoe for long. Until one man of God looked at me and said, Kai, let me take you to the market and buy you a shoe. 
When he took me to the market and brought that shoe now, I took that shoe, came to Babusan and preached God's power. Still student. I love that point in me. Point in me. I took it at home and preached God's book. The man of God saw it. He said, I like your shoe. He begged me to dash in the shoe. And I was talking in my mind. I said, ah, ah. You know, we came <laughs> This shoe that they just delivered me from. From the other canoe that the canoe that has wood. I tied my heart, I gave, I just gave the shoe, I got angry, I came back with slippers, I said, Can't. I was really angry, eh? but today that's how God is touching people to buy me shoes, because it was a seed, and that's what I'm saying, it's part of the process, those are the kind of shoes I wore, I remember one thing that brought that man of God to buy me shoes, because he gave me his puppy to preach, so when I was preaching, you notice know our kind of gesture, lift up your leg and shout fire. So he lift up my leg like they saw my under feet. They say, ah, this man. So you, you get anointing like that, nothing like the way. And then he called me the following week. We went to the mount to, to, to town to the market and he asked me to choose my own. I choose and he bought it for me. Look, imagine. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. Parents, go through it. Allow your children to go through it. It will cause something great to come out from them. Some of you have people that are capable of assisting you. You have relatives in abroad. But each time you call them, they will tell you things are difficult. They will never help you. You know why? It's part of the process. Tomorrow, if they help you, they will, it will be that they are the reason why you are, you are, you are flying. You, they, they are the reason why you are making it. And even if they give you 50,000, the whole family will know they gave you 50,000. It's part of the process. If they deny you those opportunities, go back and begin to talk to Paul. You are passing through a tough time to make you a tough man, to make you a tough woman, to make you a tough girl, to make you a tough boy in a tough generation. Sir, we are living in a tough times. For a man to overcome tough times, he needs to become a tough man. We are in an abnormal generation. For a man to overcome in an abnormal generation, he himself needs to be abnormal. Yes. Mad, M-A-D is not a crime. It just means make a difference. I get what I'm saying. You must learn to make a difference in this mortal world. So you must be immortalized in order to get to the region that is beyond mortality. So only immortals have what it takes to migrate and to subscribe to that particular realm. You are going to pray to God. If you can cry in the Holy Ghost, you speak in the Holy Ghost. May I not escape the process. May I not run away from the things that have been sent by the monarchs of the universe to raise me up. May I not kill. May I not kill the temptation that came to build me. May I not kill the spirit that came to build me. May I not run away from the powers that have been that have been ordained to build my destiny. Somebody cry. Maybe you 
I've been married for even 20 years and you don't have a single child. But listen to me, it's part of the process. Because it takes God more than a second. A second is too much for God to incubate triplet into your home. Oh, yeah. Are you getting what I'm talking oh, yeah. about? So this is a season you need to activate your seasons. You need to activate your times. You don't need to run away. Tell them because I can't run again. Some of you have abandoned your house because demons are pressing and oppressing you at night. It's part of the process. A certain woman came to me some time ago and Chamwe were praying and mother in place. She let one of the neighbors, I think that was um, one lady, I forgot his, I forgot the lady's name, but the mother came to me and she ran away from her house. And the husband, they were living in a different, in somebody else's house. What happened is that there was a demon that comes all the time to sleep with that woman in the dream and to press them at night. So they decided to abandon the house. They dealt with their own money. When I was living somewhere else, I said it's an abomination. How can you migrate from your house because of a demon? It is part of the process you should stay and overcome. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. It's part of the process. Use one minute, only one minute to cry to God. By Kambra Katobele Kafolia. Ele come sale, me pomporia a skele a matalo, my cosale moqueta, my telista, me la fome li camanta, le pelas cabelaso, la e cambe pababonga, e tombe pacambo camira, sa tombe le capa. I refuse to get tired. I refuse to faint. I refuse to give up. I refuse to get weary. Zekerasa. 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 I carasse. I carasse. I carasse. Bako barasse. E kabalata. I refuse to give up on that contract. I refuse to give up on my destiny. Shabarase. Shabarase. In the name of Jesus. Some of you parents have given up on your children. Simply because maybe the child is not doing well in school. It's part of the process. Children have different destiny. They have the, a time is coming. The child will emerge as a protocol of intelligence upon the mortal world. Why? The child is going through a transition and a transmission phase on earth. So when the appointed time comes, their, their destiny is going to be revealed. Do not look down on any of your children. It is part of the process. I get what I'm saying. It's part of the process. They refuse to give up. When you go back home, begin to learn the principle to pray. Begin to learn that principle to pray and to have a deeper dynamic and a deeper fellowship with God. Am I talking to somebody now? It's not time to give up. You've been writing that exam more than three times and so what? It's not time to give up. If you can persist, if there is a means to persist, then you persist. It is part of the process. Failure is part of the process. Your husband beat you, sir, don't give up. It's part of the process. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is part of what? The process. If you can press more deeper, you are going to pass into dynamic victory. Are you getting what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how you look now. In the future, it is better. I get what I'm saying. Spirit have your way. Spirit have your way. If there is a cry in my heart that my words cannot express. If there is a yearning in my spirit that I cannot communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. Spirit, pray. Pray to the Father. Hey, Spirit, pray. 
pray, pray to the Father. Every time I pray in your name, sickness is surrender. Every time I speak through your love, circumstances keeps me. And you are powerful, and you are glorious, God of miracles. Yeah, 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 yeah. to be 
become a power can to transmit the power and the possibilities of God upon the cosmos. You are going to pray, those of you standing before me, you are going to pray that Father, empower me now, empower me now, empower me for a change, empower me for a new possibility, empower me for a new open door. Make that prayer your point. Pray that prayer like never before. Somebody pray with you. Find that Kumbe Leskaba. Shaka Bela Sobe Legaba. Bele Bebelo Sabo. Kalebon Kaligrahase.
the ground. Listen to me, you are about to bet something new, but you have to pray. You and your family has to pray in order to enter the new phase of destiny. You understand? Yes, so God is calling you to deeper fellowship and spirituality. I get what I'm saying. You must learn how to be praying for long. There is something God wants to do with you. He wants to open your eyes so that you start seeing strange things. Because the Lord is saying to me that there is a voice. There is a voice he only wants you to answer. So you must pray and have a deeper fellowship. Father, renew our strength. Where our strength cannot carry her, take that which is on me and put it on her. Patch! Patch! In the name of Jesus Christ, patch! Take that which is on me and put on her. Take that which is on me and put on her. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, leave her, leave her, leave her. Holy Ghost. Patch! That which is on me, let it be on her. Let it rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Holy Ghost.
Because this year 2022 required I do a lot of fasting and intercessory prayers. Are you getting me? Because it's a year where you will operate in strange spiritual dimensions. Father, feel that cup. Feel that cup. Feel that cup. Feel that cup. Make me long to your sacred place, Lord. Every aspect, all 
bring her from it. By canto vele capatos, can the bring a kuku kula aska benda panta, leke te vele kapala kada.